Thank you to Vandergraaf for sponsoring this month's edition of Road to Recovery. Visit their website for more information about the Vandergraaf drum motor designed specifically for heavy industry applications. Well, David, you've you talked big picture here a little bit and, and forecast outward a little bit too on maybe some things that would come under a Biden administration. You know, short term, we're, we're hearing some news on the coronavirus front and, and I'm curious with your aggregate forecast, what other influencers influencers or, or events are you kind of keeping an eye on that are going to have an impact on aggregate demand, what, either in 21 or, or beyond 21? Well, in 21, uh, a lot of it's already baked in. Even if you have a stimulus, it probably doesn't um, get passed until March or April, and then it takes time to get the funds out. And you know, especially for uh, non-building construction, you don't exactly go to bridge engineers and say, build twice as many bridges next year. It doesn't happen like that. But um, the, the residential keeps going. We think that's pretty solid. Non-residential keeps declining for another year or two. And non-building is flat to up and down depending on the area, but not very dramatic. Now, one of the things we do see, if you, if you look around the country, there are over, 10 counties in our model that will have increase in aggregates by over a million new tons next year. Uh, places like Las Vegas, Albuquerque, Seattle, Reno. Conversely, there's more than 10 counties that should have declines of more than a million tons per year. And uh, we're talking about places like Chicago, Phoenix, Miami, and Los Angeles. Now, because it's a one year change, sometimes the year before was very good or the year after that would be very good. And so you get a confluence sometimes of uh, construction contracts and changes that uh, all pile up in one year. And, and so we get changes of over a million tons, plus or minus in several counties. David, what's unique about those areas? I mean, a million tons plus over, over last year, what's happening there that, that's driving that added demand? Well, for part of it, some of these areas have been very hot for the last few years, and there's a cooling off, and especially in non-residential, and so that would be the case in Miami. Very good area, growing area, very hot, but the uh, overbuilding would be, would be the answer for, for Miami. For Chicago, a different story. A long-term problem, and uh, some of the roosters are coming home, that uh, the various things that have been piling up have been exacerbated by this COVID-19, and it hits pretty hard in 2020, 21, and even into 2022. So they have, they have longer run issues, and the COVID-19 has kind of pulled them together and made the impact, uh, accelerated the impact in a shorter period of time. For Las Vegas um, or Reno, those are good growth areas, uh, continuing to grow, and you know, there's 40 million people in Los Angeles and uh, all the U-Haul trucks are going out of Los Angeles. And so does it, it doesn't really take too many of them to land in Las Vegas or Reno to make a big impact on those areas. And that's part of what's happening. Sure, so just people relocating, populations moving onward in some cases. Exactly. And, and the COVID-19 has had um, a, a big impact on some of these areas. And part of it's not strictly because of the virus, if you look at the impact of the virus, yes, density is, is the single common thread through all the areas that are having a lot of troubles, high density, so cities. But add on to that social unrest and uh, safety issues, and safety issues is the one thing that will drive families to move. So those are happening in some cities, and pretty severe lockdowns, and I, they, they're not going to end for a while. Uh, we, we're going to get the vaccine, which is fantastic. And uh, I hope it's as good as everything they say. And it will really start to have an impact in the latter part of 2020 as far as business is opening up. And certainly by 2021, we should be almost back to normal. Well, that sounds good, David. Let, let's get there. And some of those market areas you talk about, those got to be prime for, for some some new business, some new producers to, to get in there. And, and great to see it. Everybody, David Cherub from SC Market Analytics. David, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank 
you to Vandergraaff for sponsoring this month's edition of Road to Recovery. Visit their website for more information about the Vandergraaff drum motor designed specifically for heavy industry applications.